Hello and welcome to One Minute Architecture. Here is the Kadokawa Culture Museum by Kengo Kuma, who has imagined a rock which, to me, very much looks like an abstraction of a European medieval castle in front of a moat. I have said it before, Kuma is Japan's Walt Disney. For the facade, 20,000 granite stones have been used to create this massive pixelated object to house exhibition spaces, a shop and a cafe. Nearby is an anime hotel, printing facilities, a theatre and there is also a shrine on the premises. Due to COVID-19 there has been a soft opening and for the time being visitors can, after waiting in line in the impressive looking entrance hall, visit a rather dull small library. There is also an exhibition space in the basement. A staircase takes you down to this large space which at the time of our visit had an overview exhibition of Kuma's work. Let's go back outside. The low water pool in front of the building acts due to the summer heat as an attractor for families with children. I think it's rather unusual to allow this kind of use of a museum space but I have to say it is a really nice idea. Apart from the useless safety regulations, the outside area has a very social feel to it. As you can see, it is a very popular way to escape from the summer heat. On the premises there is a shrine famous for matchmaking and here Kuma's imagineering skills have created a series of steel tori gates painted in the traditional vermilion red. and also a meshed gate that in the future will be covered in ivy. There is a water feature for the purification purposes before entering. Let's turn around and take another look at the main building. The pixelated facade of the rough cut stones looks spectacular from any angle. In the exhibition we learn that these stones have been applied to the concrete core structure in triangular wedges placed on the steel support structure. Kuma brags that he has used the rough cut stones different from any other stone architecture in the world. Regardless of this ridiculous statement, the building is definitely worth a visit. All in all, the stone detailing is exquisite. The 40 meter tall shape looks like it has risen out of the ground which in itself is an interesting form of a recontextualized architecture. 